Hello, my name is Stanislav Deslenko and today I'm gonna show you how to create this blood spots effect inside Substance Painter. By the approach that I used here, you will be able to create a highly customizable blood splats effect uh, on your meshes and surfaces. So let's begin. So let's start by creating the document with a 16 bits color mode because we will need very smooth gradients for this. You can browse through the internet and uh, find uh, the nice splats of the blood or another similar liquid that you want to use. It's very important that the image that you are using uh, has this uh, nice gradients from the darker tones to lighter one. Based on this image we will create uh, the mask uh, for uh, our blood spots. So let's desaturate the image uh, and uh, invert uh, its colors. Uh, so we have this inverted mask where the spots uh, is white and uh, the opacity will be black. In some cases you will have uh, these artifacts uh, caused by the highlights or the reflections, mm, uh, so you need uh, to move them uh, manually but just paint them over uh, or leave them if you want, if uh, they are uh, not causing any huge problems to the overall effect. But uh, the goal you want to achieve is to have uh, this nice smooth gradients without any uh, unnecessary interruptions of them. And keep in mind that you are painting uh, the mask that we'll be using as a, a height mask as well. Uh, so uh, the places that are high needs to be lighter and the places that are lower needs to be darker. Just continue to clean up the texture uh, and all uh, parts that you are think that are unnecessary in it. Mm, but uh, keep in mind that you need to keep the gradients uh, as clean as possible. After cleaning, uh, we will start working on edges. Uh, goal here is to uh, create uh, nice sharp edges without uh, any uh, weird artifacts or unnecessary blurring spots. Uh, so here I uh, add levels uh, to get rid of this uh, unnecessary blurry outline uh, that will cause uh, unrealistic results in the future. Just by adding levels and tweaking some dark tones uh, we will achieve the effect that we want. The next step is to clean up the gradients. Only smooth gradients without any jaggedness or weird artifacts will work for us. Let's duplicate current layer a couple of times and just uh, to create the layer with the mask to define edges and uh, the layer with the blurred gradient slopes. Uh, so let's add levels uh, to the higher level and create uh, the mask for the edges from it. Uh, just by tweaking the light tones uh, to the left we will achieve uh, the effect that we have clear separation uh, of uh, the white areas and black areas without uh, any um, gradients. Uh, so it will be our mask to uh, keep the edges. Uh, then uh, we will switch to another layer and uh, in this layer we will blur it to uh, get closer to the gradients that we want. It's done by just Gaussian blur and now uh, you can use the surface blur uh, to blur it more and have much nicer effect. And then uh, we will uh, add uh, the mask for the edges that are on top uh, to this 
blur layer that we have because uh, the edges uh, are blurred too and we need them to create sharp and crisp so uh, just select this mask and copy uh, create a mask for this layer uh, and just paste into the mask slot for it uh, so we have uh, just our uh, nice crisp edges uh, and uh, all gradients are clean blur uh, and uh, we will work without uh, any artifacts in the substance painter and now we can uh, save this file you can use any format that you like but uh, keep in mind that um, it must be in uh, 16 bits so let's jump into substance painter and create the folder for our blood material and create a layer uh, which will be our base blood layer and just give it a proper color and uh, much more uh, glossiness uh, then add the black mask and uh, add uh, the fill with uh, which will contain uh, our uh, texture uh, that we are preparing inside the Photoshop. By adding this to the fill, we already see the effect. Uh, the places that uh, have more dark tones are much lighter and uh, opaque and the places that have uh, just more white tones are, have more saturated color and uh, we have the pretty close result to what we want. So uh, let's add levels on top of the fill and uh, tweak them a bit uh, to mm, make our splat more uh, saturated and no, not so opaque uh, by uh, just tweaking this level you can achieve uh, any gradients that you want so let's duplicate the layer clear the mask leave only black uh, this layer will um, use uh, for the darker parts of the blood uh, where the, the blood uh, are um, collecting the most of all. Just add fill uh, and uh, in our previous layer uh, we will add anchor point uh, and in this fill uh, just uh, set up uh, our anchor point uh, we will uh, achieve uh, this effect and uh, by adding levels uh, we will just tweak uh, them uh, to leave uh, these darker tones in the most uh, saturated places uh, where uh, the liquid is uh, con contains the most of all And make some further tweakings uh, to get the overall look uh, of this blood splat as realistic as possible for now. Mm, we always uh, can go back to the levels and adjust them. Uh, so here comes uh, the power of this approach uh, that you can in any time uh, change the overall look uh, as you want it. So by having this effect, uh, now it's time to add uh, more height uh, to, to uh, this plot and make it more realistic. Just create a new layer, name it properly, and uh, now we'll just disable uh, all the channels uh, except of the height channel. Add black mask, add fill, uh, and in fill uh, just link up this uh, anchor point uh, to uh, have uh, 
our base mask from the uh, previous layers uh, just add in the height and uh, we will achieve uh, this look but we need uh, to tweak it um, because it's now looks pretty unrealistic so add uh, levels on top of the fill and move uh, the dark tones uh, to achieve uh, more realistic result now where only uh, the most concentrated blood parts uh, will have uh, the most of the uh, hate information uh, so uh, on the mask we have something similar like this uh, need to tweak a bit uh, some mid tones uh, to uh, have uh, much smoother gradients without uh, any visible uh, rampings or something like this and just uh, leave uh, the most uh, important places with which uh, have more blood on it uh, in the white zone so uh, they will have uh, the more uh, high information in it uh, so basically uh, this uh, setup is done uh, and we achieve uh, pretty close uh, effect to the realistic results uh, that we can get here i'm just doing some more um, tweaks in the levels uh, to get closer uh, to the result that i want but um, here uh, comes uh, the main power of this approach so we can add any adjustment layer or paint layers uh, under our anchor point uh, to um, just clean up or uh, tweak uh, some places in, in this blood spot uh, as we want them uh, so here i, I add uh, the uh, paint layer and uh, with brush with low opacity I just reduce the amount of blood uh, in this place uh, so uh, we can just uh, clean up our uh, blood spots uh, as we want um, by just changing the brushes and its settings uh, here I reduce uh, some forms and uh, here i can uh, add uh, more uh, white tones uh, to the mask and uh, it will give us uh, this effect that uh, we can collect more blood in these places you can also use uh, any stencils or brush settings or and the brushes and just uh, to give uh, your mask the look uh, that you are want uh, so uh, this approach is very powerful in uh, these terms and you can create these leakings and more uh, dry outs uh, as you want them uh, just by um, tweaking them and adjusting uh, on a fly so here i just paint uh, some places uh, to uh, sh show more uh, the power of uh, this method and uh, uh, this uh, kind of approach is suitable uh, for um, much um, variety of uh, liquids like oil or uh, some just paint splats or stuff like this and so feel free uh, to use this approach in much more variety of the situations and uh, uh, just keep in mind that the uh, source stencils and textures must be in 16 bits uh, otherwise uh, you will uh, you will uh, achieve uh, the effect uh, of uh, artifacts and staring uh, so just from the texture like this we will have uh, this uh, nice blood splat effect 
I hope the video was very helpful. Have a good luck.